what I've teased in the last number of videos. I was talking about my style of eating, which I think is the best because it's so flexible. But, um, and I said that I would be talking more about my style of eating in future videos. Well, here I am and who none other than the author of The Flexitarian Diet, <laughs> Dawn Jackson Blattner, DJ, is what she goes by, just like I go by Neely. Um, so, okay, I just have to say, DJ's got, you know, a bio a mile long, but let me just give you the highlights, okay? So she, <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of them, but she um, starred in a hit uh, primetime reality TV shows and won it, yay. But she was also the dietitian for the Chicago Cubs. Yes, and she's got a Super Bowl ring. A World Series, World Series. And what did I say? Super Bowl, I was like, I wish I had oh a Super Bowl God. ring too, but I hey. Said, Oops, <laughs> all right, little blooper there, <laughs> World Series. All right, DJ, tell me, how did the flexitarian diet all come about? Talk to me about that. Here's what we have. We have, I think back 2003. I was reading and I saw this word pop up as the most useful word in the English language, flexitarian. And I thought to myself, this is what I am. I am a flexitarian. And so I went right away to Amazon to see if I could get the book, you know, like, oh, you know, there's more of me out there. 2003 goes by, no book that I could find. Nobody's talking about this. 2004 goes by, no book. Nobody's talking about it. 2005, and I said, ding, ding, ding. I'm supposed to write this book. So I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning. I wrote up uh, a quick little blurb about what this book is, what the movement's all about, sent it to a book agent. And within minutes, really, I mean, I, I felt like it was right away. Uh, she responded and said, yes, I will represent you. Let's go, let's roll. It took me a long time uh, to get the book together and to get it sold and all that stuff. But in 2009, The Flexitarian Diet came out. And really how I became a flexitarian, even before I knew the word, was that I wanted to be a vegetarian because I would read things that said, you know, the more plants you eat, the more healthy you are. And I thought, oh my gosh, like I want to be healthy. I want to take care of all my body cells. And so I need to be a vegetarian. And then my grandma would make a uh, turkey and I would eat it. And then I would go to Wrigley Field and have a hot dog and would eat it. Occasionally I would have these uh, meaningful meat moments is what I called them. But I felt so horrible. I felt so guilty. I felt such shame because I was like a horrible vegetarian because I had flexibility. Mm -hmm. I was a horrible vegetarian because I had flexibility. Wait a second. Does that make any sense? No, it's like, actually, are you not maybe the best type of vegetarian? And so that's where a uh, flexitarian came about is it was how I was eating. Um, and I wanted to make people feel less bad about eating plants with flexibility. I love that. And I, and actually my, I was actually kind of like a bit, a bit of a strict vegan for a while, but it was like, it was too restrictive for me. And it's like, yeah, I like to have, you know, some animal products now and then. So what reason should people say, you know what, I need to adopt this style of eating? What would you say? Yeah. So let's just talk about plant-based eating, right? So that means you're not a vegan, a vegetarian. You're, you're just skewing to eating more plants. When you put more plants in your diet, you're going to get more vitamins, more minerals, more fiber, more phytochemicals or plant compounds that you can only find in plants. Getting that influx of all that nutrition, all those nutrients what you're gonna do is reduce your risk of disease. So we're talking about everything from heart disease, to diabetes, to cancer. You're gonna improve longevity and health span, right? Not just living a long time, but living a long time well and healthy. And what a lot of people like about it is lifestyle weight loss. So it's not pushed as a weight loss plan. It's pushed as a lifestyle plan that, whoops, accidentally, people do tend to lose weight on as opposed to it being like focused on weight loss. So those are a lot of great benefits. And most people are flexitarian because of those health benefits. So sure, there is some money saving involved. Sure, there is um, su sustainability and eco-friendliness involved. But when you ask people, why are you a flexitarian? Uh, most people are going to respond for health reasons. And statistics show that about one in three people are flexitarian. So we're in big company here. But, but yet it's a word that not a whole lot of people know about. Like I've mentioned the word and so many people are, you know, they hadn't heard of it yet. It has, you know, was in the top three in the U.S. News and World Report in several different categories. And it's like, why are some of the best diets 
Nash diet, Mediterranean, flexitarian, why are they like the least known? It's just crazy. Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, I, I will say, you know, because I've been thinking about this since 2003, in my mind, it has blown up. Like nobody was talking about this in 2003. Even when I wrote the book, I had friends in the nutrition realm be like, flexible? What? Is this about being limber and stretching? <laughs> it's like nobody, nobody knew. So like now I do feel like there is more name recognition than ever. And really, the, you know, the definition is quite simply, right? The combination of two words, flexible plus vegetarian. So I wake up in the morning with the intent of eating more plants, but not with the strict rules of having to give up all of my meaty favorites. Exactly. You bring up something too that I, I want to, uh, to touch upon. And, you know, you talk about the cost. So many people think that plant-based eating, or, you know, is so expensive. Uh, it's cheap. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, if you do it right, that's the ticket. Uh, here's the deal is fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, beans, lentils, all of those things, great uh, financial benefits there, right? To eat those things. Because not only are you getting all that nutrition, it doesn't cost a lot. Where it goes wrong, and this is one of my biggest things to talk about. Oh my gosh. The biggest mistake is those fake plant proteins. Those are expensive. They aren't whole foods. And that is not where the bulk of your flexitarian diet should be coming from. You know, can they fill in gaps here and there for a little bit of fun? Sure. Um, you know, but the end, end of the day, when you're really eating these whole foods that are plant-based, uh, it will save you money. Excellent. And we're going to talk about the more details about uh, the flexitarian diet in my next video. So make sure you click on this one and we're going to continue our conversation with DJ Blattner. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.